subject as emissions topic uh, single phase transformers subtop is transformer axis recap so once we have discussed in the last previous class the previous class about auto transformer on completion of this period you would be able to know transformer tank the location and the function of conservator the location and function of conservator the location of and the function of breather and also the location and function of explosion vent and also the location and function of oil level indicator and the function of and its location of a buckler relay here this is the a transformer diagram this is oil level up to this one is oil level and these are the terminals input output terminals here these are the bushings and these are the terminals at conductor are connected to the these terminals and here also bushings these are the bushings and these are the terminals this is buckles relay or buckles relay or which low relay buckles relay and this one is conservator tank here the buckles relay is between the tank and uh, conservator and here the this here oil gauge we can measure the oil gauge and the silica gel this one is silica gel here this is the breather the conservator is between the buckles relay and the breather in between this one and next one is here this is the oil level this ht bushings and uh, ht terminals and this is primary or secondary whatever or this primary or secondary this is the lt winding and lt bushings lt terminals here the radiating tubes this radiating tubes it cools the it's a transformer and also here this is total the transformer tank it is a explosive vent and this is a diaphragm these are the two wheels and this is a valve when we need to get outside the so this oil we can uh, so move open this one valve so these are the total parts generally a transformer tank the transformer tanks are made from a rolled steel plates it is made from rolled steel plates so which are fabricated to form the container container means here box tank so small tanks are welded from steel plates large tanks are assembled from boiler plates here small is steel plates and large tanks are assembled from boiler plates 
so for small transformer have cooling tubes in the vertical sides but large transformers are required separate bank of cooling tubes so this is the big size of uh, transformers these are the terminals and this is the bushings just just like a insulator this one bushings so the bushings provide proper insulation between live conductor and the earth tank the bushings are made of porcelain cylinder which will have more dielectric strength so this is the bushings these are the bushings these are the bushings so conductor this is the tank at the tank and this is the between conductors and the tank the conservator the transformer oil should not be permitted to come into contact with the open atmosphere so the absorption of even a minute minute amount of moisture causes a great deterioration on its insulating properties it also causes acidity and sliding sludging of the coil so to prevent this transformer or provided with conservators or oil exposition chambers the conservator and they are working at high voltage and designed for outdoor operations the conservator consist of a metal drum fixer above the level of the top of the tank the connected with it by a pipe the joints being rendered air and oil tight so here this is the conservator this is the conservator this is the conservator here the main tank is then completely filled with oil even when the cold the oil also partially filling the conservator the surface of the oil exposed to the atmosphere is therefore greatly reduced the convection currents in the main tank do not penetrate to the conservator any sludge that is formed remains in the conservator the oil explores expands the oil expands as it heats up the conservator is full of oil the air being expelled when the transformer cools down again the oil level sinks and air is drawn in this action is known as breathing so this is a conservator the breather the in drawn air being passed through an auxiliary piece of apparatus is called breather it is used for absorb the moisture a breather consists of a small vessel containing silica gel as drying agent the air is washed through silica gel the moisture being absorbed in its passage this ensure that only dry air is in contact with the transformer oil next explosion vent 
explosion event. Many of the larger transformers are provided with a funnel attached to the lid of the tank to act as an explosion vent. An accidental short circuit inside the transformer may result in arcing with the consequent formation of a large volume of gas. This is generated very rapidly and might set up sufficient pressure to blow the lid of the tank if some from off safety valve were not provided. The explosion vent is not open to the atmosphere but has a thin diaphragm across its base. So diaphragm being made of backlit or other suitable material. In the event of the rapid generation of considerable volume of the gas, the diaphragm is burst and then gas is formed to escape. Unfortunately, the explosion is usually sufficiently relevant to eject a certain amount of oil the gas. The upper end of the vent pipe is bent and torn in the such a direction that the ejected oil will be relatively harmless. I level indicator. The most obvious indicator of transformer temperature is the temperature of the hot oil. It is measured by a dial type thermometer. It is desirable to use an indicator which will show the actual temperature at hot spot in the winding. A winding temperature indicator is a thermometer with a bulb. The reading of the thermometer is an analog indication of winding temperature. This is the diagram. <coughs> Sorry. So now buckles relay are which look relay are buckles relay. Whatever the accent. So here this relay this is a mechanical device which may be attached to an oil immersed transformer. So it is fitted in the pipe connection the transformer tank with conservator tank. It consists of two floats as shown in figure 3. So here the since the chamber is full of oil, the oil is displaced which lowers the top float. The float sinks ultimately thereby causing the closure of contacts of the alarm circuit. A small window in the wall of the relay chamber shows the amount of gas trapped and its color. A sample of the gas may be withdrawn and analyzed. The amount of gas is indicative of the severity of the fault. While the color of the gas indicates that the nature of the fault, since the faults occurring in coats and windings produces gases of different colors, in case the fault is severe, the generation of gas is not sufficient so as to lower the level of oil to the extent to affect the bottom float F2. Then go for summary. Here we have discussed about the transformer tank, location and function of conservator, location and function of breather, location and function of explosion vent and also function and location of Y level indicator.
go for quiz a transformer x-ray which is used to take a expansion and contraction of the oil with changes in temperature allowing oil to come into contact with air is that is in conservator this is the answer conservator is the answer when silica gel is saturated with moisture then the color of silica gel crystal becomes in pink in pink this answer pink is answer the function of breather the function of breather in a transformer is to absorb moisture from the air breather is to absorb the moisture from the air a and c and this one is wrong so this is the right answer to absorb moisture from the air the breather is to absorb the moisture from the air buckles or buckles or buckle relay is it is a current sensitive device not a voltage not a frequency why so the current is more here in the tank the oil will be explosive so in that process the plug buckles relay will be operate so it is a current sensitive device it is a current sensitive device also it is gas actuated device the buckles relay is placed in between in generally so here buckler's relay is a in generally we call it as gas actuated relay this gas actuated device or gas actuated relay in generally we call it as this is a gas actuated relay buckler's relay is gas actuated yes buckler's relay or buckler's relay is placed in between the tank and in the tank and conservator tank and conservator this is the answer the buckles relay is placed in between tank and conservator in this transformer accessories the frequently asked questions are explain the function of breather in a transformer the function of conservator and location and explain the function of explosive vent so thank you